It is important to place the acts of genocide in the broader context of Israel's conduct towards Palestinians during its 75-year-long apartheid, its 56-year-long belligerent occupation of Palestinian territory, and its 16-year-long blockade of Gaza, including the serious and ongoing violations of international law associated therewith, including grave breaches of the Fourth Geneva Convention. South Africa is acutely aware of the particular weight of responsibility in initiating proceedings against Israel for violations of the Genocide Convention. However, South Africa is also acutely aware of its own obligation as a state party to the Genocide Convention to prevent genocide. Israel's acts and omissions in relation to Palestinians violate the Genocide Convention. That is the shared view of numerous other state parties to the convention, including the state of Palestine itself, which has called on world leaders to take responsibility to stop the genocide against our people. United Nations experts have also repeatedly sounded the alarm for over 10 weeks that, quote, considering statements made by Israeli political leaders and their allies accompanied by military action in Gaza and escalation of arrests and killings in the West Bank, there is a risk of genocide against the Palestinian people. United Nations experts have also expressed their profound concern about the failure of the international system to mobilize to prevent genocide against Palestinians and have called on the international community to do everything it can to immediately end the risk of genocide against Palestinian people. The Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, acting under its early warning and urgent action procedure, has also called on all state parties to the Genocide Convention to fully respect their obligation to prevent genocide. This section provides an overview of the acts in which Israel has engaged that are genocidal in character, having regard to their nature, scope and context. These acts are ongoing and ongoing in a conflict context, where Israel is deliberately imposing telecommunications blackouts on Gaza and restricting access by fact-finding bodies and the international media. In the two months since the 7th of October 2023, the number of journalists killed already exceeded that of the entirety of World War II. Further detail will be provided regarding these acts over the course of these proceedings. However, such information as is available establish that Israel, one, is engaged in killing Palestinians in Gaza, including Palestinian children, in large numbers. Two, is causing serious bodily and mental harm to Palestinians in Gaza, including Palestinian children, and is inflicting on them conditions of life intended to bring about their destruction as a group. These conditions include three, expulsions from homes and mass displacement alongside the large-scale destruction of homes and residential areas. Four, deprivation of access to adequate food and water. Five, deprivation of access to adequate shelter, clothes, hygiene, and sanitation. 6. Deprivation of access to adequate medical care. 7. The destruction of the life of the Palestinian people in Gaza. And 8. Imposing, imposing measures intended to prevent Palestinian birth. The United Nations Chiefs and the International Committee of the Red Cross, no strangers to conflict situations, have called what is unfolding in Gaza a crisis of humanity. According to the United Nations Secretary General, humanitarian veterans who've served in war zones and disasters around the world, people that have seen everything, say that they've seen nothing like what they see today in Gaza. An entire population is besieged and under attack denied access to essentials for survival, bombed in their homes, shelters, hospitals, and places of worship. The UNRWA Commissioner General said, it is a living hell. It is a war of all the superlatives. Everything is unprecedented, and we are out of words. 
to describe what is going on. Over 21,110 Palestinians are reported to have been killed since Israel began its military assault on Gaza. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, at least 70% of whom are believed to be women and children. An additional estimated 7,780 people, including at least 4,700 women and children, are reported missing, presumed dead under the rubble of destroyed buildings, dying slow deaths or decomposing in the streets where they were killed. Nowhere is safe in Gaza, as the United Nations Secretary General and many other United Nations experts have now made clear to the international community. Palestinians in Gaza have been killed in their homes, in places where they sought shelter, in hospitals, in UNWRA schools, in churches, in mosques, and as they tried to find food and water for their families. They have been killed if they failed to evacuate, in the places to which they fled, and even as they attempted to flee along Israeli declared safe routes. Reports are multiplying of Israeli soldiers performing summary executions including of multiple members of the same family, men, women, and older people. One such account is the reported execution in Gaza City of at least 11 male members of the Anand family and their relatives, boys and men, said to have been separated out by Israeli soldiers and shot in front of their family. There are also reports of unarmed people including Israeli hostages being shot dead on site, despite posing no threat, including while waving white flags. Attacks on Palestinian homes and residential blocks account for a significant number of the dead, with Israel reportedly using artificial intelligence to generate up to 100 bombing targets per day. Israel is said to be dropping dumb bombs on Gaza, as well as heavy bombs weighing up to nine hundred kilograms which have a predicted lethal radius of up to 360 meters and are expected to cause severe injury and damage as far as 800 meters from the points of impact this weaponry is being deployed in one of the most densely populated areas in the world where approximately one in every hundred people has now been killed. For Palestinian children in particular, quote, death is everywhere and nowhere is safe. A total of over 7,729 Palestinian children have been killed in Gaza to date. Over 115 Palestinian children in Gaza are killed every day. It is estimated that more Palestinian children were killed in the first three weeks in Gaza alone, a total of 3,195, than the total number of children killed each year across the world's conflict zones since 2019. The scale of Palestinian child killings in Gaza is such that United Nations chiefs have described it as, quote, a graveyard for children. An estimated 1,779 Palestinian families in Gaza have lost multiple family members, and hundreds of multi-generational families have been killed in their entirety, with no remaining survivors. Doctors, journalists, teachers, academics, and other professionals are also being killed at wholly unprecedented rates. To date, Israel has killed over 311 doctors, nurses, and other health workers, including doctors and ambulance drivers killed on duty. 103 journalists, amounting to over one per day. 40 civil defense workers responsible for helping to dig victims out of the rubble, killed while on duty. And over 209 teachers and educational staff. 144 United Nations employees have been killed the highest number of aid workers killed in UN history in such a short time. It is estimated that it will take years to recover the remains of people from beneath the rubble, and that the costly technical process will not result in the identification of each body. 